Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft. And today we start in Thessalma. And we just have a bit of mail to send. Because I just made a joke with the, the guys on the server. Um... Yeah, he wants his royalties. There you go. Yes. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> uh oh, same thing with Ender. <laughs> Alright. Ender wants some as well. There you go. Royalties. There we go. Haha, <laughs> you guys were expecting... Wow, currency, right? <laughs> okay, so here we are. In um, in Thersamar, we are picking up a few quests to start us off in this uh, in this village. Uh, it's a village uh, in the central Loch Madan, uh, which is the second tier zone for tens to tw uh, level tens to twenties. Uh, Copper for now. Gold when I strike it rich. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, where's the... Oh yeah, that's right. The quest was... Uh, Vidra Herstov, which is standing in behind the bar. Oh, let's join her behind the bar. Hey, we can tap the beer ourselves. Great to meet you. Yep. Grats. Thelsamar blood sausages. There's never a shortage of empty bellies here in Thelsamar. Kids running in and out, workers from the excavation coming in after a hard day's work. We're famous for our blood sausages. I don't suppose you've ever tried them. I can't say that I have, but they sound delicious. No? Well around here you've got to work for your meals. And don't think just because you're a fancy paladin you'll be any exception. You get me some fresh bear rumps and leave the cooking to me. Alright, so we go kill some Keep bear. Feet on the ground. Grab some bear ass. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. Get things done. More quests over here, apparently. Aha. Oh, there's a notice board. I think that says there's a wicked beast somewhere. Wanted, the Dark Iron Spy. A Dark Iron Spy has infiltrated the town, stolen documents from the Explorers League establishment, and is now in hiding somewhere nearby. He was last sighted near the top of the hill to the south of town. A sizable reward awaits anyone who can bring the spy to justice. Dead or alive, dead preferred. Alright. Sounds good. Um, uh, do, 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 do. And apparently inside. Last quest to pick up. Nope. Not in here. Alright. Where? Where, where, where? Ah, up this hill, maybe? And inside... Whoop! Stuck here. Okay, inside here. Aha! That seems right. Duck Blunderblast. I don't know about you, 
but I'm not much a fan of spiders, much less the kind that come bigger than me. Loch Moran's a gorgeous place, but I'd say it could do without those horrid things waltzing around. Tell you what, I've got some spare coin and you look like a tough one. If you head out and off some of those things for me, I'll pay you for your time. Kill eight force workers. All sure. With you. Um, gunsmith. We don't need guns, we're paladins. We need bigger, stronger hammers and bigger shields. Uh, warrior trainer, metalsmith. Is this a forge? No. Oh, but we do need to find a forge because we have picked up quite a bit of, um, Let's see, is there any place to forge stuff around here? Uh, townsfolk. Repair... Repairs are usually next to the forge. Aha! So... Uh, yes! There we go. I'm completely blind, apparently. Forge. Cool. So let's smelt some stuff. Smelt the copper. Uh... Oh wait, is there a mining trainer somewhere? I'm pretty sure we picked up tin, and with tin and copper we can make bronze. Which would be a nice thing to have. All things are nice things to have, but, you know. Uh, paladin trainer, mage trainer, general supplies. There doesn't seem to be any profession trainer except maybe the baker? No, just sells bread. Hmm. Maybe we need to go back to uh, Iron Forge. Which wouldn't be complicated, really. Boom. Earthstone. Take a sip of my beer. Ah, that's good. I bought uh, I bought a case of Corona for the summer. Because I wanted to uh, have a nice little light tasting beer to drink while sitting on my... Uh, sitting on my balcony out back behind my, uh, my apartment with a book in a nice summer sun, but we've had quite the uh, uh, quite the uh, fugly summer so far around here. It's clouds and rain, more clouds and more rain. Uh, only a little bit of, uh, of sun and most... It, it's been warm, it's been hot actually, but it's that Hum humid heat that's not really fun. I like that dry summer heat. But no such luck so far. It's been, uh, yeah, it's been not a very nice summer. So, and since I'm going ne away next week, I didn't want to leave that. Uh, leave beer in the fridge. So, might as well drinking when I while I'm playing this game. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, forge is at the center. That's also where the blacksmithing trainers are. Uh, hopefully that's where the mining trainer is as well. Blacksmith trainer. Hello. Uh, how are you doing? Can't teach me anything because I'm only level 22. Uh, where is the... Where's the mining trainer? Oh yes, there's um. There's a mining guild of some kind somewhere around here. Clothiers, supplies, leather goods. Come on, I remember seeing it somewhere. Uh, Alright. Well, let's not make that mistake again. Let's ask the guard. Uh, hello, you. I need a profession trainer. I need the mining trainer. Uh, mining ninja. Can I ask for more? I in deep mountain mining and jewel crafting. All right. See you soon. That way. Let's go see it. All right. Quick little detour by the capital, and this is why you want to set your hearthstone to the capital, because the capital has everything. So if you need to find something, wait, is this it? Or is it up here? Ah, oh, no, that's right. Deep Mountain. Yeah, there we go. So it is in the center. I just missed it. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, capital has everything, so if you need to train your professions and pick up some items or go to the auction house, quick, er, quick hearthstone and you're there. Mining supplies. What mining supplies well, could you have other than a pick? Uh, coal. Oh, sure, when we want to make steel, but we're not there yet. Oh, mining sack. For eight gold. We don't have enough gold yet, but that will eventually be a very be useful thing to have. Mining trainer. Hello, sir. What's on your mind? Can't smelt bronze or tin yet. I need to be level 50, and I'm level 44. Well then, that's a, that's a kick in the stones, pardon the pun, um, okay, so we'll just smelt some copper and create some more copper armor and stuff, sure, why not, smelt the copper, the forge is right there. Oh, wait a minute. That... Okay. Level 50. Now we can go see him. Now we can go see him, and he will teach us how to smelt the tin and the bronze. Aha! That's how you do things. Cool. Mining trainer. Oh, that doesn't count? Oh, I have to be a pure 50. Okay. I thought that was gonna... Be good. Okay, the... The 10 bonus only applies to what I can mine in nature and not what I can... Not the uh, prerequisites for learning stuff. Okay. Seems like something basic I should already know, but... I haven't played it... I haven't, I haven't played this game uh, in a little while and... You sort of forget some of the basics, uh, especially when it's uh, especially when it's not something too instinctive. All right. Oh, and that's not going to get us to level 50. Yeah, we're going to go up to 45, uh, maybe 48, 46. Seven, yeah. So close, but no 50. Okay. Blacksmithing. What can we make? We can make some rough stones, rough sh waste stones and sharpening stones. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, let's make the stones. Whoa! Alright. Um... Okay. Learn how to make rough... Rough... Oh, I can make a rough grinding stone. What does that do? Oh, it's used in uh, recipes, I guess. Okay. Good to know, good to know. So let's use our rough stone and create those. Okay, and we can learn to make copper claymores and copper daggers. Nice. Alright. Uh, I guess we can make one more of those. Alright, and we have copper on us. Uh, the claymores require leather and the grinding stones. Same with the daggers. Daggers take six copper bars. These take ten. Short sword takes six, axe takes six, mace takes six. So not a good idea to do the claymore because it just uses up more resources. Boots take eight, pants take four, bracers take two. But they're they're yellow, so we're not guaranteed to level up while making bracers. What shall we do? Uh, hey, how does the copper mace stack up now? Looks crappy compared to ours. Okay, uh, let's make the bracers. Uh, 
because uh, out of nine, we probably we're probably gonna have one, maybe two that won't make us level up. Uh, I'm okay with this. Uh, if we can get to level forty with uh, these nine, then I, I'll, I will be a happy camper. All right, rough start. Yes. 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 And... Oh! Almost. That was a close one. Alright. Train and train. Uh, the belt also requires six and the axe requires six as well. Okay. Uh, all good things. Okay, let's see what we have. This is empty. This is empty. Empty. All right. So we have lots of waystones. We can keep those. We can keep that. It's going to be useful. Copper bar as well. The copper bracers are uh, white items, so it's not even worth it to try and sell them at the auction house. We can just sell them. Tiger's eye and shadow gem we'll, we will keep because ah, keep because some later uh, later recipes will uh, require them, as well as probably malachite and other stuffs. Uh, yeah, they'll be required to make green items. And is that a stegosaurus? What? Where did you get that mount, dude? That looks awesome. I don't know where you get a, st a stegosaurus, but I want one. Oh, I want one. <laughs> that looks so cool. Okay. Uh, core stone, tin ore, can't smelt it yet. Uh, we have bear meat, we have beer based boar ribs. Oh, let's go and, uh, yeah, start making a few of these. Uh, we'll make these until they turn yellow. Get our first aid going. Beer. Okay. All right. Learn your first aid. See, the thing I, I find funny about the first aid skill is that it teaches you how to make the bandages, and you gain levels by making the bandages, but you don't make you don't gain levels by actually applying the bandages, which is what first aid is. Um, I'd have expected that you would level up by actually performing first aid and then uh, yeah performing first aid would make you level up and then uh, the making the bandages would just be, I don't know, a complimentary part of it eh, where do I know? Elemental Flux, Blacksmith Hammer we have uh, you have nothing that we need. Purium bar. That's going to be uh, end game stuff. Yeah. Okay. So what can we sell you? Well, the copper bracers, because uh, they're just clogging up inventory and we can't do anything with them. All right. Uh, waystones. We don't need that many, but uh, we'll keep them just for uh, our mace until we learn to make better than this. Uh, keep all of these. We're only level... we're not even level 10 in cooking. We need to find something to cook. Uh, linen bandages. Let's sell off one and keep the other stack. Yeah, okay. thought we'd have more than this. Oh well. Uh, the slag hammer. Oh, that's the one we had before. Okay, it's soul bound, so we can't sell it on the auction house. Yeah, let's sell it off. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's start moving some stuff around. Waystone here. Okay, so. Core stone here. Let's move this here. Refresh. 
recipes, ores, meat. Sure. I'll find a way to better organize this later on, because uh, uh, I'm going to want to have a blacksmithing bag and a mining bag in these two slots. And then I'll be able to put all this blacksmithing and mining stuff into those and clear up a bit of my backpack. Okay. See you soon. Uh, looks like Tormis Deepforge has a quest what for us. For Supplying the front. The mountaineers of Loch Madan are fighting trogs and having a busy time of it. They need constant supplies of new armor and weapons if we're ever go if we were ever to get a handle on those trogs. That's why my colleague Thorvald is here, trying to keep the mountaineers in good gear. So if you were to make some copper axes and copper chain belts and bring them to Thorvald, he would be obliged. He might even share his knowledge with you. Thorvald is in Lokmalan Sather in Guard Tower. Bring six copper axes and six copper chain belts to Thorvald in the Southern Guard Tower in Lokmalan. And he will give us plans to make a heavy copper longsword. Cool. But for that, we need more copper. Watch your back. Because we just used up all that we had. Uh, so six copper axes, six copper chain belts. Let's take a look at what that requires. Copper axes require flux we have, linen we have. We have actually, uh, well, the weak flux we can buy. The linen, we have all that we need for the axes. We just need six times six, 36 copper bars. We're going to need 30... Uh, oh, chain belts. 36 more. Ooh, wow, that's going to take 72 copper bars total. And to make one copper bar, I think you need two copper ore. No, one. Okay. So we're going to need a buttload of copper. Hmm. Alright, I can look into this. Uh, oh. And there's a quest to hand in over here. Do, 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 do. What's in here? Let's see. Hall of Explorers. Festival Lore Master. Oh, that's right! Here they are. Last time we were looking for the man to teach us about the uh, Midsummer Festival. Enjoying the festival, Paladin. While the Flame Wardens tend to the fires of the present, I am more of a historian, keeping close to the fest keeping close to festivals past. I'm also, of course, documenting this year's festivities. Things are going well thus far, don't you think? You know, Angus, there is power inherent in all festival fires burning throughout the holiday. We're taking care of, taking care of ours. But I'm certain there are sacred flames burning deep within our enemy's cities. The Master of Summer War. I'll be happy to tell you what I know. Can we receive burning Let's blossoms? Incense for the Summer Scorchlings. Did you know that our festival fires burn in every land with an alliance settlement? Flame wardens tend to them in camps outside of each town, ensuring the bonfires are bright and the celebrations continue. With each flame warden is a summer scorchling, an emissary to the elemental spirits of fire. Would you like to honor a scorchling, Angus? Take this summer incense and bring it to any summer scorchling. Appease a little fire spirit and it may reward you. Alright, so there's little fire imps dancing around the fires and we can appease them. Oh, so we can do this. Cool. Ooh. Uh, there's a grey quest, so we, we're not high enough level to do it yet, but we, we know it's going to be there. From the uh, Drain Eye fella, from the Earthen Ring. Man, these guys are so weird. Tentacle beards. Uh, alright. Hello, human. Oh, I think this is our first human, isn't it? Alright, let's get the voice right. I'm guessing they speak in a Briti British what accent. Do for you? Actually, they're kind of international English. Not British, not American. Torch tossing. So you want to be a fire juggler. Do you have what it takes? The dexterity, the reflexes, the courage. If you think so, then let's give you a little practice. Take these torches and run near the bonfire. You'll see braziers with markers fla flashing above them. Toss a torch at a marked brazier. Be quick. Do it before the mark fades if you want credit for the toss. Hit enough marked braziers before the time limit, then come back here for your next lesson. 
win the torch tossing game then speak with the mass fire alright uh... how do we do this? toss a torch on the mark brazier okay, let's try it okay oh. okay I'm guessing I'm just getting them all wrong. Switch, yes. Okay, you know what? I need to get this on my hotbar. That's that's what I need to do. Yeah. Where where are those torches? Okay. You. I failed. Yes. Give me this. Thank you. Alright. Good. 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 Aha! Did it. Alright, that's the trick. You need to have them up uh, up on your hotbar. Well done. You'll be a fire juggler faster than the fuse on the on a ground flower. Now gird yourself. The next test is when things really heat up. Okay. Now that you can throw a torch, let's see if you can catch one. Take this stack of unlit torches. Go to the bonfire and throw a torch high into the air. Catch it before it hits the ground, then throw it back up. Catch four in a row, then come back to me. Careful. They're dangerous if they hit the ground. And don't miss any catches. If you do, then you'll have to, st to go back to the bonfire and start over. Good luck. Catch four torches in a row, then speak... Okay. Have a good one. Alright, so what we need to do is... Uh, or th this is a bonfire, right? Use light near a capital bonfire and fling the torch. Okay... Wait a minute. Did I just fling it? Oh, lag. Huge lag. I'm having trouble. Uh, okay, hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to stop recording right now and figure out what this... And I'm back. Okay, I think I fixed it. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, we were doing the torch throwing thing. Uh, let's see, how do I do this? Oh, let's uh, get this off. Okay. Use light near capital bonfire and fling the torch. Where'd it go? Okay, let's, uh, let's try that again and try and keep an eye on it. Where is it? Oh! Yes. Oh, almost. Okay, so yeah, we we catch it, we fling it, fling it back up. Okay. Uh, just okay. I think I'm gonna use the WASD keys on this one just so I can keep the the camera up on it. Where's it? All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, almost. Flames of failure. Oh, come on, man. I was close. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, get out of my way. Ah. Uh, that's the only problem with this game is that things can be in your way. If you're not looking where you're running. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Nope. I did not see where that go where that where that went. Okay. Try it again. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Got it, got it, got it. Yes. Uh that's the other problem. When somebody else is playing alongside you, you have no idea whose torch it is. Okay. Let's try it again. There it is, there it is, there it is. And 
Yes. Yes. Oh, come on. I caught that one. Ah. Uh, okay, let's try it again. There it is, there it is, there it is. Yes. What? I caught that. I feel like sometimes there's a bit of lag and it's uh, it's not helping me. Come on. Run for it. Get it. Yes. Whoa! Nope. Alright. Just gotta learn that it's always gonna go behind me. That's the trick. So as soon as you throw it back up, turn around. Whoa! Where is it? Okay. Keep your eye on the torch. Whew. Last try and then we're gonna move on to something else even if I don't get it. Yes. Oh, come on. Fine. To heck with you. It doesn't work. We'll abandon this. Yes, abandon the quest. Okay, and there seems to be a daily quest over here. Let's go check it out. Use right click near a fire festival bonfire to receive the fire festival fury bluff or to reignite an extinguished extinguish bonfire. Hmm. Requires midsummer bonfire. Let's try this and see what it looks like. This is the weirdest bonfire I've ever seen. It's blue. I'm guessing they put phosphorus on it or something. Boom! And for the next 60 minutes, we have Fury. Cool. Increases crit strike by 3% and causes fire damage to attackers. Battle elixir. Oh, it cancels a battle elixir, does it? Good to know. Because uh, you see, you can only have one elixir at a time that's active. Oh, cooking trainer. Oh yes, cook the daily cooking quests. Keeping the haggis flowing. The haggis must flow, aye. It's a figure of speech for haggis will never flow. You didn't want to know what'll happen if the people of Iron first don't get the haggis. I'm working on the next batch, but I'm still missing a couple of ingredients. Sognar Cliffbeard is a meat vendor. Yeah, we've done this one already, actually. If I remember correctly, there's the sheep in it, the oatmeal, and the packets of mild spices. And, See you soon. if I remember correctly, this man down here sells the, sells the spices. The Emerald Ricknesson. Thank you. So we've got our spices. Good. And the meat vendor is in that courtyard over there. Wait, where was that courtyard? Uh, let's see... Okay, sacks of flowers are everywhere. So we can... Get those. Sacks of oatmeal. Yeah, oatmeal. If you've never had haggis, I recommend it. It is, it is good. I've had I've had the the real thing from Scotland. Went to Scotland when I was younger. Cool trip. Went through Edinburgh, uh, Inverness, Pitlochry, and Stirling. And my train went went through Falkirk as well. Cool place. The Scottish people are very nice. Very cool people. Love their food. It's, uh, it reminds me of the food uh, back home, actually, because it's all uh, it's it's hearty food for uh, a working people that grew up with uh, not much. So it's a lot like here. Wait, where do I get the where do I get the meat again? I think it's this way. Yes. 
Follow the map. This way. Yeah. Best thing I had while I was in Scotland, I went into this little pub in uh, the old part of Edinburgh, and uh, they had something called a Crofter's Chicken, which was just a... Uh, it was um, a chicken breast stuffed with haggis and ro uh, and uh, with the, rolled up in uh, their, their version of bacon, which is a lot different from our bacon. There's the meat vendor. Uh, their bacon is like it's shorter and wider, kind of like a dwarf bacon, basically. And uh, bag of sheep in it. That's what we need. Okay, let's go back. Uh, man, that thing was delicious. So good. I wish I had. I wish I had it again. I can't even remember the name of that pub. Fortunately. I probably could find it, I think it's right off the uh, the road to the main castle, but... Oh man. Good food. Good beer too in Scotland. When, uh, when we stopped in Pitlickery there, uh, there was an inn uh, right at the, t uh, at the top of the village near the... Um, near the trail that went up to... Uh, went up the mountain Benefraki. And... It... Uh, they had uh, Great to meet you. such good ale. We wanted to buy some and uh, bring it back with us, and it was too complicated because we it, we were only halfway through the the voyage, and we'd have we'd have had to haul these beer bottles in our bags and stuff. It wasn't really uh, safe travels. It was a it was a little too complicated unfortunately, but man. Someday I'll be back. Someday I'll go back there. Enjoy these things again. Hey, Iron Forge Quartermaster. I can buy a tabard for Iron Forge as well, but what I really want is the satchel. But I'm not revered yet. Can't get the cape either. I uh, don't want the stamina intellect one. Strength and stamina one would be would be great, but I need to be exalted for that. And I need to be level 40. Okay. Alright, Griffin Master. Time to go back to Lakmadan. So, send me back to Thessalonica. Oh, uh, wait. Did I have anything else to do around here? Nope. That's it. Alright, let's go. Alright, and while we're in Loch Madan, let's uh, keep an eye out for that copper, because we do need to make those uh, axes and and chain belts. Alright. Yeah, going back to uh, going back to Loch Madan means we have to take the griffin, we can't teleport there, but uh, it's still close enough that it's going to be a quick flight. This is uh, this is where being a mage comes uh, becomes a really useful thing because then you already have uh, teleports to all major cities, so you can set your hearthstone to whatever local questing point uh, you're at at the moment, and then you can just teleport back and forth between the city and the quest point, which is amazing. It's really really useful, but the f for the rest of us. Uh, classes. We have to schlub it and take the public griffin transport. <laughs> public transportation, you No. Don't say that. Don't say that. Public transportation is what's going to save us all, people. Take it. It's awesome. And if you live somewhere where the public transport isn't that great, then convince your friends to take it. Convince everyone to take it, and if more people take it, then your city will be inclined to invest more into it and make it better. That's how you change stuff. Okay. Alright, so here we are. Uh, back in Telsamar, we have... Uh, oh, we have a quest we can already hand in over there. Let's go check it out. And... We have a whole bunch of quests to complete around here. 
happening over there? Oh, there's a bonfire. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, let's see. What's happening over here? Oh, a bunch of quests around the bonfires. Let's see. Ah, Summer Scorchling. Yes, we needed to give you some incense, didn't we? A fiery salutations to you, honored paladin. Welcome to this hallowed ground of the Midsummer Fire Festival. Hello, sir. Ah, and what is this? Such a delightful, delightful aroma. I am sure it will burn with a flame pure and bright. Take this blossom, Angus, take it, and leave me be. I must attend to this precious fuel. It's like we just gave him crack. He loves it. <laughs> Thank you again, Angus, the, for, for this delectable incense. So good, so packed with energy. Has everything a growing scorcher needs. I can feel the power surging within me. Now, finally, our plans can take effect. Oh, God. Kneel, little Martin. Kneel before the might of... The Herald Ragnaros, you will all perish in flames. And it's back down to... Uh, I was merely jesting. Yeah, I'm sure you were. That's the last time I give you the equivalent of steroids. Alright. Halo, Hi. Flame Warden. Honor the Lockmarton Flame. Watch your back. Sure. Oh, that's a quick, easy quest. Cool. Fire Eater. Hey, how are you doing? Good day to you. Learning some hot new skills. I don't know if you'll ever be able to match my own cons considerable skill, but you can probably pick up a trick or two if you're an attentive student. Speak to a master fire eater at any alliance capital, they should be able to help you. Uh, no decline. I, I did that. I spoke to a fire juggler and his quest was just too hard. Alright. Uh, we're done here. Ah, forest lurkers. We need to kill those. Let's go kill those. Hello, forest lurker. How about a nice how about a nice shield to the face? Going back to our favorite thing. Throwing shields in things' faces. Black bear. Black bear wants a shield to the face. Bear meat. No, we need the bear rumps. That's what we need. Oh, copper over there. Let's go get it. We need a lot of it. Oh. Knolls. Pesky little knolls. There we go. And there's an ear. Only one. I'm pretty sure he had two. Unless he chewed it. Ah, and we're level 15 and we have access to talents! Cool! Alright, first talent! Oh, we've, re we've unlocked Dungeon Finder, and we have a new ability called Reckoning. We've unlocked Way Wailing Caverns, Rage Fire Chasm, Dead Mines, all these things. Cool! Looks like uh, unlock reaching level 15 is like becoming, a g becoming mature. Okay. Of the three talents we have available, we have Speed of Light. Increases your movement speed by 70% for 8 seconds. Oh, so this is a sort of sprint ability. Okay. Well, I've been complaining about travel form for a while. This would solve... Well, not solve, but... It would be something. There's a 45 second cooldown though on it, and it only lasts, lasts for 8 seconds, so... Eh, it's better than, it's better than nothing. Long Arm of the Law. A successful judgment increases your movement speed by 45% for 3 seconds. Successful judgment. What's a judgment? Uh, Word of Glory, Righteous Fury, Redemption, Flash of Light, Crusader... Ah, judgment. This. Okay, so... Attacking with this, which we can do every 6 seconds, would increase our movement speed by 45% for 3 seconds. Again, this is a speed thing, but uh, it's not as good as this one, I think. Pursuit of Justice. You gain 15% movement speed at all times, plus an additional 5% movement speed for each current charge of holy power up to 3. Aha! So we'd already be forever 15% faster on our feet. I like it. And 
when we charge this up, we can be another 15% faster, so up to 30%. I like it. I like passive speed. Cool, and we are now fast dwarves. Fast paladin dwarf. Cool. Oh, and somebody came behind us and started killing everything, apparently. Okay. Alright. Ah! More gnolls! <laughs> Hello, gnolls! There we go, this one's dead. Another ear. Alright. Feel the power of my mace. And my shield. Cool, cool, cool. More gnolls. Moss hide scout. Man, what did they get the crossbows? Those demented hyena things. Okay, I wish they dropped two ears at a time. Are they all? Did they all fight Mike Tyson or something? Okay. Uh, do we need to kill rams? No. Rams are just there to be majestic. <laughs> Let's leave them be. Oh. Ah, uh, and... Oh, okay, no. I thought for a second that the lag was back. I was like, no, please no. We're fine. Hey, what's this? Bonfire's blessing. Burning hot, you have... Cool. I don't know why I got this, but I got it. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Uh, gnolls to kill, gnolls to kill. Let's kill all of them. With shield and mace, we kill all the things. 8 out of 12. Four more to go. There's one more. Seriously, who's your supplier? Where do you get crossbows, man? Alright, next one. There we go. Aha! A little bit of grinding, it's okay. Sometimes you just gotta grind. And boom. They die so easily. And last one. Hello, sir. Might I interest you in the word of my shield? To your face. Thank you. Okay. We're done with the null, so... See you guys. Uh, okay, now that we're done with the gnolls, let's see about the bear ramps. Aha! Bear ramp! There we go. Okay, what's the best place to get bear ramps? A little more north. Uh, looking for lurkers. Wanted dark iron spy. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go take care of the Dark Iron Spy first. We don't like spies. And I, if I remember correctly, there was a there was a quest around here as well. All right, how do we get in here? How do we get in there? Come on. Uh, there's got to be a trailway. Ah. Copper. Squirrel! Copper. There we are. There's a copper. Yeah, there it is. 
knew there was a quest in there. Okay. Just need to find the trailway that it goes into that place. Uh oh, bear. Really? Wait a minute. Didn't I just kill it? Why can't I loot it? Why won't you let me loot my kill? Bug. Alright, there's another lurker that's dead. And... Alright, I'm guessing that the trail is further up the road. Ah, another lurker! Aha! There we are. Ooh, that was a... that was a crit strike. Oh, our, uh... Our weapon is, uh, no longer blunt. Enhance blunt weapon! Enhance! Cool. It is enhanced. Alright. Let's go see about this about this trader. How do I get in there? It's a good question. Is it here? Looks like maybe it's here. But no, isn't wasn't that the Knoll place? Or, uh, no, sorry, not the Knoll, but the Trog place, yeah. That's the place we fought the Trogs, isn't it? I don't know, yeah, it is. Alright, so we're not here to fight Trogs, we need to go further up north. Ugh. See, before I wanted a mount, now I want a flying mount. At least we're walking faster now. Look at him run! Look at him run! Okay. Uh, Alright, so there's gotta be a way inside there. Uh, heck if I know. Hmm. You'd think there'd be like a mountain pass or something. Can't find it for the life of me. A little sip of beer. Hmm. All right. Uh oh oh oh! I think I found something. Yes, there we are. This is how you get up. Perfect. Okay, uh, and back around. Grizzle porridge. Ha! And here's the spy. Let's murder him. Matter shall find me, eh? No matter, you won't live to tell anyone of it. I beg to differ. And he's dead. Gorix stash list. Spy documentation for dark iron eyes only. This item can be read. Then let us read it. Detailed herein are all the locations used to secret our information within Loch Madan while awaiting pickup. Should you manage to obtain any documents from the Explorers League or their allies, place them in one of these locations and one of our messengers will pick up We'll pick the package up within the week for delivery to our base of operations. Okay, so this is written in the voice of a dwarf. Okay. Once you have, memori Once you have memorized all of the locations within this book, burn it so that it cannot be obtained by our enemies. Should you suspect for any reason that our enemies might be suspicious of your activities, burn the book immediately. By no means should this ever fall into enemy hands, lest our routes of communication be compromised. For Ragnaros. Oh, they're working for Ragnaros. Those... Those 
cheeky bastards. Location 1, Western Lock Dock. Northeast of Thesselmar, there is a small dwelling in a dock that are utilized by dwarves on occasion during fishing season. Store a package in a watertight container under the dock, out of sight. Drop-offs and pickups from this location should occur only at night as to reduce the risk of being witnessed by fishermen in the area. This drop-off point will receive reduced priority during the fishing season for obvious reasons. Alright, location 2 goes to block 10. South of Tesselmar there is a large hill. On the south side of the hill there is a path leading to the cave at the top. Store packages behind the rocks in the back of the cave. Aha! Please refrain from continued use of this cave as a shelter and or hideout. Utilizing this cave for such compromises... Utilizing this cave for such compromises the security of our packages and our messenger ants. Shanda's lair, Iron Man's cubby, there's a bunch of... Uh, bunch of different locations. And Stolen Explorers, Explorers leaves document. Explorer leaves document one of six. The document bears the Explorer's League crest and contains extensive information on the indigenous creatures of Loch Madan. Sooty smudges lead you to believe it was slightly stolen by the Dark Iron spies in the area. You recall mention of missing documents at the Explorer's League building in Thesselmar. So we return to Thesselmar. I accept. That's it. Cool. Cool. Alright. So, the path we wanted to find is this one. We took a... Let's call it a shortcut. <laughs> Not really. And... Ah! Woo! Copper! That was a shortcut. Painful one, but shortcut nonetheless go, copper. And the bear. Could you spare some butt? You want some butt? There we go, bear butt. Cool. Alright. Let's keep going. Forest lurker needs to die. Because that poor little dwarf was afraid of spiders. Ah, fear of spiders. It affects everyone. It's the nope factor. Nope, nope, nope. Seriously, if I did find spiders this big in my apartment, I would probably just burn the whole thing to the ground. Claim the insurance. Be like, it's an act of God! How is it an act of God? You burned it up. Yeah, but there was a spider. Oh, we understand. Here's your money. More like an act of the devil. Only the devil can conceive of such horrible creatures. Hey, another bear. Another butt cheek. Nope, no butt cheek. Oh. I'm looking for some butt. Give me some butt. Actually, not you. You can keep your butt. And everything else. Keep it to yourself. Nobody wants to see that. Alright. Oh, copper. Squirrel! <laughs> I really feel like the dog in up. Every, every single time I, I spot copper, I'm like, ah! Whoa, what is that? Can we kill it? I think it would be a, a tough fight. But I feel like I want to kill it. Is there an easier way back up? I'm guessing we're going to come by uh, next to the lake later on. Once we do, we'll fight this thing. Ah, yes. Spider over here. Kill the spiders. There we are. Spider's dead. Cool. Still need five more bear butts. One more one more dead spider. There we are. Okay, what's next? What's next? Uh, Alright, let's hand in the rest of the quests and uh, later on 
So yeah, the bear butts, uh, the bear butt hunting happens up north. Okay, first of all, Mountaineer Kedrell. What can I do for you? Got some ears for me then. We sure do. Nicely done, lad. I could use a paladin like you around here. Keep your feet on the ground. Good, that's done. Next. This man, Magistrate Bluntnose. What can I do for you? Wanted the Dark Iron Spy. You brought the damn spy to justice. This is good news. We can all rest a little bit easier not worrying about that one. Off with you. Alright. They have thanked me thoroughly for murdering that man. Good. Torrin Squarejaw. Hey, I found some piece of paper you want. Hello, Sonny. You seem to have found one of our stolen documents, eh? Oh, he's Canadian. Thank you for kindly b thank you kindly for bringing bringing it back to us. We'll gladly s lend some coin as thanks for its return. Watch your back. All right. And finally, uh, we killed the spiders, so the man up top will be happy to see us. Do 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 do. Aha! There he is inside here. Hiding like a coward. Dak Blunderblast is his name. You got my attention. I'll rest easier knowing one of those lumbering things won't be wandering into my bedroom at night. Again. Thanks much. Oh man, I get you. Watch if that thing back. came into my bedroom at night, I would be scared too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh next. We have the Stormpike's orders at the Alga station, and we have the Bear Rumps. To the north! And we will accomplish this in the next episode. I just figured out, yeah, the hour has gone by. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!